Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how to etch onto glass using Armour Etch cream. Now I've got these two wedding glasses. Uh, one's for the groom, one's for the bride and I'm going to etch the name on here. So I've already put this one on, so I'm going to show you quickly how to do the one for the groom. Now my webcam is still, I've still not got the best of webcams. So I'm going to set that here just now. Now what I've done is I've already showed you a video on how to weed out a stencil to get the names um, that, you, that you need or the pattern that you need. So I have my transfer tape already here. Transfer tape, once again, is just a, a mildly sticky tape that will go over your vinyl, squeeze that roll in there, over your vinyl and it won't stick permanently so it gives you the chance to put your vinyl where you need it. So you just stick your vinyl over the top, you stick your, um, your transfer tape over the top of the, the vinyl transfer that you want. Now if I move my video down, my video camera down so you can see that, um, I won't get it back into the same position again. So you just rub roughly over the top of your transfer tape so that you can pick the white backing off. If there's any questions you have about vinyl and vinyl cutting then just um, leave a comment below and I'll try and answer it or if you're wanting another video done on this then just let me know and I'll see what I can sort out. So we need to put the name Mr Stewart on the top of this one for the groom who is Mr Stewart. Now what you need to do is you need to get it straight so excuse me for holding this Close to me, I only have one set of these made, so I need to get it right. Because if it's wrong, I am stuck. Okay, so once you've got it where you think it's going to be correct, you have to smooth it down so there's no air bubbles. Now, because this is a this is a champagne glass, the glass is very thin, so I have to be careful what I'm doing. And then, there's no easy way to teach you how to put on vinyl onto whatever, whether it's glass or whether it's cups, plastic beacons, beakers rather, plastic beacons. You have to go a long way to do that, won't we? Anyway. So what you've got to do is you just peel your transfer tape off and as you're doing that you need to smooth out your actual transfer that you're leaving behind so that there's no air bubbles. Now some of you might be asking why didn't she do this before? should decorate the rest of the glass and the answer is I forgot I didn't forget it was just to begin with it was just to be these toast glasses and then it was decided to put the names on there we are so once we've got that on, we've got to smooth the vinyl down, making sure that there's no air bubbles. Now, if there's an air bubble up here in the corner, that's fine. But where you can see this one that's touching the M for Mr, we've got to get rid of that. You cannot have air bubbles touching any of the pattern that you're making. Because if you do the the etching cream will just get right underneath there and it'll spoil the whole thing and you'll have to start all over again. And I can't start all over again with this because I don't have another decorated glass. 
but I will show you how to do these in another video if you want. How to do the the actual um, decorating and how to put the the glitter. The glitter's put on with Mod Podge, and there's three layers of the glitter Mod Podge, Mod Podge glitter, Mod Podge glitter, Mod Podge glitter, and then one final coat of Mod Podge or PVA glue on the top of it. So there we go. I'm just trying to get rid of that one B one. So you've just got to make sure that it all sticks down. There we go. Now if you need a link on where to get the vinyl, this is um, outdoor vinyl. I find it sticks a little better. And anyway, you're just going to peel it off and it's going to go into the bin. Okay, right. So here we go. Right, we'll put that one to the side just to make sure that it's given a few minutes to settle. And we'll get this one sorted out. Now, I'm getting an air bubble with the S's on this one. And I'm not happy with it at all. So I'm going to kind of lift it and see if I can stretch it just that little bit more. To get it on. To stay on. Now, when you put the etching cream on, it's only going to take a few minutes. Um, please read the instructions on... The etching cream. I don't have enough time to go through it all. It is an acid. It does. It won't eat through plastic, but it will eat through glass. It can, if you're sensitive, um, damage your skin. So you are supposed to wear gloves. But I'm not going to have this on that long, and I'm not going to be touching it. So as soon as I get this done, I'm going to wash it off. So we'll do the first one. And I'm going to have to do the same with the mister. It's safer to do them one at a time. So what you need is a little brush. Oh, a little brush. Keep it that way. I'll show you this. I'll find something to prop this on so you can see it better. That's not going to work. We will put this on. There we go. Yeah, that's better. You can see that. It holds it still as well. So you just one last check just to make sure there's definitely no air bubbles around where your letters are. Now, please don't leave any horrible comments on the bottom that the video sucks or anything like that because it is beginners and it's for beginners and it's not polite. So, what you've got to do is you make sure you don't drop this on any other part of your glass or it will etch through it straight away. So you just need to dab on your etching paste. Make sure you cover all your letter. Keep it away from the edges. It is good to mask off the area that you're not going to use, uh, that you don't want etched along here. But today I don't have the time. And I've done this a few times. I still class myself as a beginner with this because I've only done it once or twice. I've had a few disasters. So we just dab it on. Just be careful not to dislodge those tiny little parts that's inside the A and the E. Like I said, it will run underneath and spoil it. If you're doing something else, 
like a, a large um, glass or something that could possibly, if you make a mistake, you could put a flower or a butterfly over the top of a mistake. But I don't have that option with this. So there we go. That's one done. I'm going to set that aside. Just to give me the time to do this one. I'm going to have to hold this one. I'm just holding it here. I do apologise for my hand being in the way because I'm trying to keep that air bubble from popping back down onto that M. Now what this does is it eats through the glass straight away and it leaves like a frosting effect. There we go. We just quickly paste it over, paste it over. Just make sure you've got on your letters. Make sure you don't dislodge the little parts of the the A and the E or any other little parts you might have. Now you will notice that armor edge, as you can see in mine, possibly I don't know if you can. There's tiny little flakes of. It looks like glass, but it's not. It's actually something that's inside the armor etch and if you don't keep them out of the way it will leave a little mark now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and i'm going to wash this off okay i gave that a little wash off we give me a little second for being untidy i'm just going to put this away now Let's have a little look. I'm going to dry this off. And, ta -da! Let's try and get that round so that you can see. Can you see? So there we go, and as you can hear and see, it doesn't rub off, and that's actually etched in. If you hang on a second, I'll find a piece of black card. Now oh, there you go. Says Mrs. Stewart. I'll try and turn that up the way. Oh, this is driving me nuts with this. It's actually driving me crazy with this. So you can see it. It's not working very well anyway. Just back. Talk about for beginners. Ooh. I did have my camera stuck on the shelf above my head, but it <laughs> fell off. It fell down. So there we go. You catch the light so you can see that. So. That's definitely not going to work, but never mind. Oh, there we go, you can see it anyway. So that's that one done. I'll set that just to the side. Well, you can see it better from there. There you go, just peeping out the corner in the dark, in the dull. And like I said, yeah, it doesn't scrape off at all. 
and it's eaten into the glass. So let's find Mr. Stewart. And if they knew Mrs. Stewart and Mr. Stewart ever watched this, I wish you all the best. So there we go. I'll change that over there so you can see that one better. There. Put that behind it. Oh, there we are. I'm not getting very many points for this this video. It's a bit a bit naff. I think I'll need to put my um my camera back up where it was and find a way to secure it so it doesn't fall. So there we are. Two red and glitter glasses. Now, if you've got any questions, please leave a little comment on the bottom. I do appreciate, I really, really do appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. And please subscribe. It is free, and the more sub subscribers I have, the higher up the ratings will go. So maybe more and more people will watch these. So if you are a beginner, <laughs> good luck. But there we go. So once again, thank you for watching and it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. All you need to do is um, you just need to fill in your name and things, that's all. You don't even need to put your address and anything like that in for YouTube. And that way you can leave comments. You can't leave a comment unless you have um, joined YouTube. So it doesn't cost any money. And if a little advert pops up on the bottom of any of the videos that you see, or even if they, they do, if you let them run, um, I'll get paid a few pennies from YouTube. If you watch the adverts, just open them on another page, and that way I can get a decent webcam. There we go. So, thank you very much. Goodbye.